Hey, it's all and it's the weekend. You know this because the hair is trying to hide. It's deflated. It's down. Uh, and then today I wanted to talk or I wanted to theory craft on player behavior in Dragonflight. It's a thing that I do a lot. I, I, I theorize on how how players are going to react to a thing. And then I ask myself, oh, is this like the WoW team's intention? You know, only for them to... Uh, release a blog or you know an update or something that blows said theory out of the water but it's fun to share anyway so if you're looking for uh, new revelations new information it's not happening here I'm doing you a favor by warning you in advance but I think I'm pretty close to something so I invite you to join me on a little trip through the player psyche so like the video subscribe for more content and We'll begin with this chart. So I'm going to have some B-roll somewhere. The chart. This is the chart that I put together with the information that we know so far uh, about all the item levels that are being passed around and where they come from. So I'm going to point out a few facts first. So this video at least comes out to be a little bit useful for you. So if you're in a Mythic Plus thing, if, if you're a Mythic Plus person, I guess, if you clear 20s, you can get item level 4, 21 gear. That's roughly the average item level that a pure Mythic Raider is going to get, since gear is going to drop at various item levels. And people who clear 20s are going to get item level 405 gear at the end of the dungeon, and they only need to upgrade it like a couple of times to max it out to a 415, if they have a Mythic Plus score of 2400. And lots of folks have been talking about mostly the top end of this. Meanwhile, you all know that I tend to talk about the not so top end, usually like the kinds of players who participate in world content and do that sort of stuff. And, and I'm going to get to that level of stuff, I think. I'm just working my way down. All right. Right now, a Keystone Hero in Dragonflight that's coming up means getting the score of 2500, you know, which kind of makes sense. Keystone Master still exists, and it still asks for a rating of 2,000. So let's take a look at that on the chart. Uh, getting Keystone Master requires clearing 15s, just like what we're used to right now in Shadowlands. It gets us these upgradable, three, uh, upgradable 398 at the end of the dungeon, and then 411 item level gear in the vault. So obviously 15s just ain't what they used to be, or at least they're not going to be what we're familiar with in Shadowlands. I mean, today, doing a 15 gets us mythic level gear. It's the best stuff outside of, you know, those last few bosses. This is unlike how it's going to work in Dragonflight, so one could easily say it's a nerf. It sucks, in a way. The days of, <laughs> the days of totally outgearing heroic raids with mythic gear they're not going away, but they are going to be less frequent. They're expected to, I guess, challenge players to perform at a level well beyond what heroic raids ask for. It's impossible to say with any, uh, with any objectivity, but the intent that I see from the WoW team is to make the following clear. That right now, running a 15 is not equivalent to a mythic difficulty encounter that awards that sort of gear. Because in Dragonflight, well, we're going to see that a 20 is going to be considered equivalent to a mythic difficulty encounter. Some players are going to have a bit of a crisis. Not all of them, but, you know, people with the right connections, they're, they're going to be invited into a 20 for the sake of vault gear, or they're going to buy their way into it. Or if you're lucky, some people will post their keys for the sake of, hey, I just want to complete, come join, please, let's at least kill the bosses. And gamers will be gamers. Some folks are going to rise to the challenge, and they're going to get good. But the immediate concern, uh, the worry from some, I'm sure, is that their, their typical routine is being disrupted. Like, hey, we're used to doing a few keys a week, getting the good gear, and then using that to smash the heroic version of the raid so we can get that achievement and the gear that we don't really need unless it's for transmog. That type of player is going to have to contend with progressing through a heroic raid with heroic gear. 
I know that sounds a bit condescending. It, it, it sounds mean, but I should remind you that th that this is me. <laughs> you know, I am the heroic, the AOTC raider who gets mythics from the vault. Um, you know, whenever I get around to doing those, and, and small caveat, like I'm a tank, and the gear requirements aren't all that high anyway. But is this kind of player routine uh, going to be as disrupted as? Some people are saying that it's going to be because right now, I'm going to venture into the realm of well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start theorizing, all right, where I can easily be wrong. Beta could clarify new information that could ruin me, and I was there just the other day for the data mine Mythic Plus 18 stuff, followed by the real deal. So I'm used to being corrected. But if you're still watching this video, you're curious or you're just here for fun, so I appreciate that. Uh, treat yourself for something. So let's talk about crafting a little bit. Right now, it seems kind of sucky. And, and I'm talking about Dragonfly. It seems kind of sucky. As good as a crafter as you might be, you're going to have to play in Mythic content to make Mythic level gear. Otherwise, the best that crafters can make for themselves is item level 405 gear. And that's with really high skill and good materials and the whole shebang. And that's not going to be an easy or an inexpensive thing to do. So where does Mycopium come from? Right now, it comes from running Mythic Plus 16s. So look at the chart again. Like, running a 16 gets you 398 gear, just like a 15, but it gets you 415 gear from the vault each week. 415, as you can see, is the minimum item level for Mythic gear. Now, the Mythic Reagent that comes from Mythic Crafts, it still doesn't have a source in the Dragonflight uh, beta. It's very sad. <laughs> and all we know is that the Mythic Reagent is supposed to come, according to their statements, it's supposed to come from Mythic level things in raids and dungeons and PvP, like that level. So where does that fall under with these kind of malleable Mythic Keystone dungeon requirements? Like, clearing a 20 gives 405 gear from the end of the dungeon. That's a great feat, but 405 gear is not exactly a mythic reward. Of course, the item level 421 gear from the vault, that definitely is mythic. Same goes for the 418s if you complete 18s and 19s. And technically, the same goes for 16s and 17s that award 415 gear. We're going deep with the assumptions here. But if I clear 16s, is that a path to get this mythic reagent? Again, we don't know how this is going to work. Like, do I need to clear, I don't know, multiple dungeons to get reagents? Do I only get like one a week? Is it something that comes from the Great Vault? There are numerous possibilities. I know that some of you folks out there want mythic crafted level gear or just mythic item level period to be available for everybody regardless of the game mode that they play in, but this recent announcement about Mythic Plus is a pretty clear message that world content players, they're not the only ones who might be denied of this level of gear. But if 16s are all it takes, not to say that I'm, not to say that the bar is so low, but if 16s are all that it takes to earn this reagent, this kind of keeps the door open for players around that 15, 16, 17 current level uh, to get this mythic gear. However, they're going to be participating in the player economy to do it. So let's pretend like, hey, yay, great. I got this mythic thing in the vault and now I can use it to make a piece of gear. So, so now what? Now I either do it myself or I find a friend who can make or upgrade this, you know, whatever my current crafted gear is. And ta-da, I have an item level 408 piece of gear, which is not what you're probably looking for because you need this gear to be upgraded and, and recrafted to be at the highest level quality. So maybe you do know someone or you do have the skill to do it, or maybe you don't. But now you at least have a path to break past this item level 411 wall and all the way to the 418s while picking up 415s from the Great Vault each week, if you're doing them each week. So all this stuff is made up. Oh, 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 okay, it's not made up, but it's a theory predicated on that first 
that 16s make someone eligible to get that mythic reagent, followed by that you just like get them. Like it's not five or 10 high level keys that you have to run to get a thing and you need 10 things to finally create the item. Like you just get one in the great vault each week or every other week, no more, no less, if you complete a 16 or higher. But if it does turn out this way, I think that this would be a pretty healthy thing for Dragonflight. For the people who run 15s, it makes the path to that high level gearing harder and I guess more expensive, but it's still there. And the player economy is gonna get that much more bigger and, and hopefully profitable. Meanwhile, people who run 20s are having the bar raised to get them that much closer to that top item level. And I guess depending on your class and spec, maybe they're already there. Unfortunately, people who don't run big free content at all, they, they're gonna feel left out. I'm speaking personally here, but I do believe that at some point there's a line to be drawn, like somewhere when it comes to item level, but also that item level may not be the best answer to acknowledge someone's time and effort put into their characters. I mean, after all, item level diminishes stats, even level squish, but you no know, achievements, cosmetics and mounts, those are forever. But that's going to be a conversation for another day, and that's really all I've got. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.